Oh, hello. This is Drew with Michigan Adventure Life. We're out here in the Wide Waters Campground in the Hiawatha National Forest. What are we going to do? We're going to go to Lake Kitch Itty Kippy. Yeah, we're going to go to Kitch Itty Kippy. This is Whitney, my wife. This is our first adventure together on camera. It's going to be great. And who else is here? Cara Barra, the My Adventure dog. And we're going to go on adventure. But first, we got to get the canoe off the car. Cool, so now we're going to Kitchen Kippy. Thanks for joining our adventure. So we made it here just outside of Manistique to the big spring at Kitchitakippi. It is gorgeous. Eventually we'll get on that little barge and hopefully not flip over from people standing on the wrong side. It's a giant spring that you can see clear to the bottom and they have lots of large fish in that you can't take. It is also crazily blue. Oh yeah, you can just see way down in there. Lots of big fish. Right in there. Gotta keep it going. Keep the fish. Here we go, getting in line for the boat. Kara's staying behind with Daddy. There's a bunch of doggos on this boat. So we're just gonna take our turns. Be calm. Kitchen to Kippy, Michigan's largest natural freshwater spring. The name means big cold water and is sometimes just referred to as the Big Spring, originally referred to as the Mirror of Heaven. Water is pushed at 10,000 US gallons per minute up through the limestone bottom at a constant temperature of 45 degrees Fahrenheit all year. This oval pool measuring 300 by 175 feet is about 40 feet deep with an emerald green bottom. Many fish lay and rest throughout in their retirement years. What a beautiful natural spring in Michigan's Upper Peninsula. So there was Kitchi Kitchi Kippy. How was it? Great. What'd you learn? Learn about how the water gets in there. How does the water get in there? through a bunch of rocks on the bottom and bubbles up at the top. Oh, that's why it's so clear? Yep. You oh. see the sand doing little white shifty things at the bottom of it. Oh, that's cool. And I held on to Kara the whole time, so you went on the boat. Yeah. And she got lots of pets, and she's just roaming around now, having a crazy old time. We'll probably take her back to camp soon. It's super pretty, though. I like all the big fish. I didn't know there were giant fish in it. Yeah. Cool. How was the boat? Do you have a glass bottom or anything? Yeah. Oh, that's super cool. Did you film some of the glass bottom? Neat. Yes. Yeah. 
I can say it. So after our wonderful afternoon at Kitchitakippi, we decided to come into the greater Munising area, which is a nice little town by the pictured rocks. We're gonna look at some stuff and get a hot dog at Johnny Dogs. So Johnny Dogs is closed. Tacos, tacos, tacos it is, hooray, tacos. We're gonna go inside, order, and then come out and sit on this nice little patio with Kara and eat some tacos. So we took Kara to the Munising City Park to run around in the water a little bit and do some smells. We didn't film there because there are a bunch of little kids playing in the water and I don't feel comfortable filming around a bunch of little kids looking like I do. Yeah. So then it started pouring rain and we put a tarp up and took care of for a nice long walk and now we're just kind of hanging out waiting for the rain to die down for sure's for sure's. Might take a drive around or whatever, I don't know. And then we're going to make some steaks tonight and chill out. We're just making some steaks, closing out the day from our Kitchen to Kippy and Munising adventure. It's been a good day. I had a really good time with my wife and my puppy. Did you have a good time? Yeah. And I know Kara had a good time. We just spent a lot of time walking around and seeing some lakes and seeing some stuff. Now we're going to eat some steaks and go to bed. Night everybody. <laughs>